CAC is this Consumer Advisory Committee. It's for us, by us, for all the consumers at Westside Regional Center. We meet every month at Westside Regional Center. And we oversee all the advocacy groups that meet around West LA. We're a subcommittee of the uh, Westside Regional Center Board of Directors. We bring our list and concerns to the board meetings. And we bring information from the board back to CAC. CAC is also a place for us to bring ourselves into the community to help th make the community aware of people with disabilities. The Lanterman Act was passed in 1969 and where we are today is people with developmental disabilities have rights just like anybody else without a disability. People with disabilities have the right to go to school, have a right to go to college. We are living in our own places. Um, we have a right to a pick and choose where we want to live. We have jobs. We pick and choose our own friends. We have relationships. Before the Lanham Act, people with disabilities were put in developmental centers or at home with their parents. Before the regional centers came along, we were, and the Lanham Act came along, we were basically non-existent. Now we have a voice and we can make our voice known. We got paying jobs that which we weren't able to do before and the regional center has helped us with that too. Now I have a job here at Westside Regional Center as a consumer coordinator of self-advocacy and I also live in my own place. I have a relationship and I you know have a freedom and my own choices. CAC is open to anybody over the age of 18. Once you graduated from high school, if you had developmental disabilities, you're, you're welcome to join CAC and any of our advocacy groups that meet off-site. There are 17 self-advocacy groups in the greater Los Angeles area. We're in charge of the meetings. We have a right. say in what our self-advocacy groups yes. do. We are participating in different meetings, and we talk about all different kinds of things. We teach leadership skills and how to be a good role model. We also network and work as a team. We have the Winners Self-Advocacy Group where we do volunteering out in the community. And we also have a Friendship Network Group where we talk about how to be a good friend to yourself before being a good friend to others. And we talk about appropriate relationships. We also have the Movers, which meets every fourth Tuesday. We talk about uh, earth earthquake safety and uh, and preparedness for earthquakes and disaster preparedness. We'd also go to meetings with state and local politicians. We meet in their offices. It helps us to become more politically aware. That's very important. And we have two or three different groups that, that, are, that deal exclusively with politics. Not only can you join our groups, but you can also do some things, have fun. Join us for the weekend activities like bowling, concerts, museums, fitness club. We have traveled all over with each other. We go out in the community and we do a whole lots of fun stuff. We get them while we hang out together and we go out to eat. The number one probably is say. We attend uh, the events by going on buses, by um, using Uber, using Access, Lyft. For more information, you can call the service coordinator or call the front decks. You can also find counting on the website.